All right, so this is the floor. Um, I didn't show any pictures of me building the floor, but this is uh, actually uh, pretty much the same as the walls. The few key measurements here is the overall floor, um, the overall trailer is 60 inches uh, wide. So I made the floor about um, 59 and 5 eighths. Uh, that 3 eighths difference is to account for the fact that my um, wood on the sides will overhang the floor and I wanted it to be the same width uh, the floor to be the same width as the trailer when it was finished so I deducted 3 eighths of an inch because my overhang my thickness of my overhang there is 3 sixteenths of an inch so that's one critical measurement the other critical measurement is the overall length of the floor the floor here is 102 inches long exactly uh, if you're having a hatch that meets your floor, that's one thing that uh, I struggled with on the first trailer was how my hatch was going to close on my floor. On this one, I'm going to make the hatch close to the floor so that there's a vertical um, uh, seam there, a vertical joint where that closes. So my floor is actually going to be cut off right here vertically as you see it. Um, if you do one where your hatch is actually curved on the bottom, you would need to cut this back at an angle. Uh, in either case, you could leave it a little bit long and cut it back once you figured that out. Now the other thing is, is all of the uh, cross pieces here, this is all built out of one by fours. These are all, for the most part, they're put on the, um, centered on the trailer uh, cross pieces. So that they, they center on the cross pieces. The trailer, my trailer has a box and then it has cross pieces going this way about every two feet. I ran a piece down the middle that way, everything would sort of tie into that. Uh, not really necessary, but it did give it a little extra support. The other thing here is we're going to have an air conditioner in the back. The back hatch wall is going to ride on this last cross member here. I like to put a cross member under that back hatch wall. That way I've got something to uh, screw in with pocket screws if I, if I want to. My, my back hatch wall to make it sit. Um, if I need to pull the floor up to it to make it sit flush and to glue it into. In ours we're going to have an air conditioner in the back. This is the back here looking towards the front. So what we did here is basically, you'll see later on, but we're gonna have a box here. So I framed this in. Uh, this will get cut out. That's why I didn't put any insulation in it. Uh, but this will be uh, somewhere in this area here will be our air conditioner. It's about 16 inches wide. So I centered these and I also left, uh, this is eight inches from here to center and from here to this line. That way when I cut this hole out, I've got a little bit of meat left right here. On that joint other than that it's basically the same as the walls just putting the uh, foam insulation in gluing that in um, all the way around and that's about it uh, nothing else critical here just making sure that this fits your trailer depending on the size of your trailer and thinking about your overhangs your overall length how your hatch is going to meet and um, that's about it so the next thing I will do was I, I will cover this uh, the other side of this is already covered um, I'll cover this side with some more of the same flooring material that I used on the outside skin of the walls. Thanks.